Drazen Petrovic was my nemesis. I could not stand this guy, but I think he is the best shooter I've ever seen in my life. Better than Ray Allen. The best shooter I've ever seen in my life. When we talk about NBA legends, Drazen Petrovic is usually the name one tends to forget. His swiftly rising career was stopped by a tragedy, but Reggie Miller, LeBron James, and other NBA stars have publicly praised the late great Croatian player, often naming him the Mozart of basketball. Petrovic was the first international player in the NBA that actually had an impact, but just how good was he in an era where a completely different basketball was played? Side screen, Petro, 4 3, got it! Oh, oh, what a big! Before the NBA, he won everything you can possibly imagine in Europe. Born in Shebeni, Croatia, Petrovic quickly managed to go through the local youth system and joined the first team at only 15 years old, similar to what Luka Doncic recently did at Real Madrid. His legend started to grow when an 18-year-old Dražen led Shebenik to the Yugoslavian league title, which was stripped from them by the Federation the same day because of the irregularities in refereeing. The times were pretty crazy back then, as Petrovic then had to serve a mandatory year in military, only to sign later with Sibona, one of the best teams in Europe at the moment. The old continent quickly started to seem too small for the guard, as he was averaging an insane 32.5 points per game in Yugoslavia and scored a mere 44 piece against Real Madrid in Europe's top flight competition final. In four years at Sibona, he won multiple trophies, broke diverse records, and did some crazy stuff on the court. The one you might have heard about is a 112 point game. Yes, he had 112 points with 40 from 60 from the field, but the opposing team unfortunately had their under 17 team playing due to technical reasons, so we have to put an asterisk next to this performance. Talking about more crazy 80s stuff, the Yugoslavian law at the moment prevented players younger than 28 years old playing abroad. Drajan was 24, however Petrovic's agent managed to bribe an incredible amount of people, that's what he himself confessed later, to fulfill Drajan's wish for new challenges. How did those go? New team, new league, new records. One of those included a 62-point outing in the final game of a second-tier European competition at the time. After only one season in Madrid, he finally transferred to the NBA. But this time, the change of scenery did not go as smoothly as before. The league was still very skeptical of European players, mainly because of their athletic abilities. That's why the Blazers played him only 12 minutes per game his rookie year, and then made a summer move of signing Danny Ainge, another player in Petrovic's position. 12 minutes became 7, and Petrovic was quickly traded to the Nets in the January of 1991. Here is where the real show started. From a state stationary shooter to an off-ball master in a second. In New Jersey, he instantly got a real role and delivered. 20 minutes converted into 12 points per game. The per minute efficiency as well as 50% shooting from the field for a guard was unseen at the time, and the Nets decided to start Petrovic the next year. They got 41 for drive. That's where the league was put on notice. Drajan's numbers rose to 20 points per game. He was an unstoppable threat in transition because of his energy and shooting ability. Look at the perfect balance when rising to shoot after going full speed. His technique never looked different due to insane hours of practicing. There are many legends about him making 500 shots before the school started at 8 am when he was younger. Another move he perfected there was the shot fake. And since Petrovic was so lethal from the mid-range, everyone was flying, from less-known defenders to the great Scottie Pippen. Petrovic, there's that ball fake again, Bob. Did you see him? Free Scottie Pippen, that's twice in the game. During this era, a fast break was the only way to have an appropriate amount of room for some fancier dribble moves. Because in half-court possessions, the spacing was awful, to say the least. All 10 players clogging the paint wasn't a rare sight. Post-ups were the go-to action in 80% of the possessions, and once the ball got inside, there was usually no chance of it going back to the perimeter. Pick and rolls, the number one play nowadays, wasn't seen as a productive option. This left Petrovic searching for as many opportunities as he could early in the shot clock, even posting up smaller guards. Here is Drajan showing his strength against Steve Kerr, something he improved vastly during his years in the NBA. Right. Against Kerr. No. Count it right. and one. All right. Bada bing. Uh, bada bing early. 
For those of you who are enjoying this video, we have a premium platform on our site. Basket News Plus offers you a great deal of additional basketball content, including my weekly breakdowns of different European teams and players, an ability to listen to the Q&A or bonus podcasts, and to be included in a super active WhatsApp group with other basketball junkies. Check out all the extra content and offers right now at basketnews.com slash plus. Now, going back to the video, Petrovic's greatest asset was catch and shoot situations. He was so good at creating separation and punishing even the slightest lack of concentration from his primary defenders. Those included Michael Jordan as well. Getting them stuck in the screens was his thing and with the release that many others dubbed as the quickest one of all time, even faster than Curry's, there was no way of blocking his shots. The Nets offense was either a transition, a post-up play or an off-ball situation for Petrovic. He was bullying opponents from the diamond entry also, correctly reading their movement as they tried to follow his path. If they trailed over, Drajan would simply curl and rise for a jump shot. If they attempted to cut under, he would pop back and create the gap this way. It's at home. His gravity would create some of the easiest shots at the moment for his teammates as well. An open shot was a much rarer sight back then. Spacing and shooting were 20 years away from the current fame. So many possessions ended in tough over-the-hands post-up tries. With Petrovic on the ball, defenses went up, even on sparse pick and rolls, where the opponents sent two people making him give up the ball. That's how quickly the Croatian guard gained respect as one of the best shooters of all time. However, there was one thought that didn't leave my mind all the time while making this video. How perfectly well Drajan would fit into today's NBA. I know he is one of a kind, but if we had to compare him to one modern player, my answer would be Klay Thompson. Constantly moving, especially on post entries, Petrovic was always looking for a slippage in the opponent's defense, ready to set his feet and rise up for a jump shot. He was a true pioneer at the time, not only easing the way for other European guards to enter the NBA later, but also with his refreshing style of play. So imagine what he would have been able to achieve if the spacing did not look like this, but instead like this. Incredible to play with him. Some front office people around the league. As Igatella high and throws it down. Aside from his technical abilities, he was and still is an inspiration to many, but especially to his native Croatia because of his dedication to the game and the spirit of true warrior. Never backing down from a fight. That's one. Oh, the offensive foul draws it. Petrovic showed to many that hard work can shatter walls that seem unbreakable at first. A silver medal with Croatia in the 1992 Olympics just happened to be one more proof of that. His heroic career and life were cut short, but the feeling in people's hearts and the accomplishments he left behind will always have him as one of the best shooters of all time. What is your most memorable Drajan moment? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to press like on this video and I'll see you in the next one.